As Yellowstone Season 1 concluded, the outlook for Dan Jenkins appeared grim. Portrayed by Danny Houston, he embodied the villainous land developer serving as the primary adversary for the Dutton family. Amidst cases, Luke Grimes' lethal actions on tribal land and Jamie's, Wes Bentley familial disruptions, Dan stood as the central conflict. His clashes with John Dutton intensified as he attempted to erect a development on their land, foreshadowing an inevitable reckoning. In the season finale, Dan found himself in a precarious situation with a noose literally tightening around his neck, urged by Case to relent. Houston acknowledged the symbolism, stating, the noose is not only tightening around his neck, but also around the story, creating tension akin to the skin of a drum. Sinister elements were introduced, leading to unexpected alliances among adversaries in typical Taylor Sheridan fashion. In a Sheridan script, complexity reigns, and season two delivered several plot twists. Contrary to expectations, Dan survived the hanging, continuing to play a role in the unfolding narrative. However, his tenure was short-lived, as the storyline necessitated the emergence of more menacing antagonists. The friction between Dan and the Dutton family reached its conclusion in season two, driven not by internal conflicts but by the narrative's trajectory. While Danny Houston did not explicitly confirm his character's fate in the TV Insider interview, he hinted at the arrival of ominous new characters poised to disrupt the status quo. These brothers, he revealed, enter the scene, exuding malevolence. Their imminent threat forces enemies to forge alliances against a greater foe. Ultimately, this alliance leads to Dan's demise, underscoring the inexorable march of the narrative toward darker and more complex conflicts.